Hello, I'm going to read you one of my uh, latest stories. It's uh, entitled, Phoebe the Thoughtful Thinker. I'm thinking of calling myself Phoebe the Thoughtful Thinker. I can't believe I just thought of that. I walk a lot, and when I do, my head is full of thoughts. I think about everything there is to think about. I seldom stop and rethink all these thoughts because they seem to be thinking all by themselves. Once in a while, I will get an idea I can use, like a story I wrote called Once in a Lifetime Thought. If you didn't, didn't get a chance to read it, this story, then mm, that is something to think about. So here I was, walking down the street with a train of thoughts going on inside my head. I was on that train, but I wasn't training on any one thought in particular. Then suddenly I thought upon the thoughtful thinker. Hmm. And the train came to a halt and all the other thoughts got off. I found myself thoughtless, except for one thought about what a thoughtful thinker I was. Then just as suddenly as I thought about it, I became lost in thought. I thought about all the great thinkers of all time how these mere homo sapiens could have raised the bar to the highest level of thinking. Sure, we as human beings all have this power. To think or not to think? That's not even a question. Real thinkers think for themselves. They even contemplate not thinking things. Some folks call this meditation. The truth of the matter, awake or sleep, the habitual thinker finds there is not a moment when they are not thinking. I use the plural because every man, woman, and child in the world has the power to think. Each and every one of these human beings has the same supreme power, and that is the ability to think even though their thoughts could become truncated. Uh, I know what some of you are thinking right now. You have a smiling smirk upon your face and are pondering to yourself, Phoebe might think he is a thoughtful thinker. I'll give him that. But there are times when I read his poems and his stories and say to myself, what was he thinking about when he wrote that? Does he think that I think that he thinks he knows what I am thinking about when I think of him? For which I simply say to this conjecture, huh? <laughs> One thing I worry about is that I think too much and one day I will end up without a thought in my head. Descartes said, I think, therefore I am. I wonder what he was thinking when he thought of that. Jack Benny said, when he was confronted with the question, your money or your life? Jack replied, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Rodin spent years tinkering with his sculpture, The Thinker. Before it went from stinker to thinker, eh, well, you know, it could be. I, who consider me the sound, thoughtful thinker, think to myself, why not put my thoughts into thinking words that I, and see if I can sell uh, them for money? I went next door to see my neighbor, who I know is a thoughtful person. He's the father of three children and has a wonderful wife to boot. I asked him bluntly, what do you think my thoughts are worth? He looked me right in the eye and said, Phoebe, I'll give you a penny for your thoughts. My friend looked at me with a heart. Mm, well, you know, all my thoughts, and they're only worth a penny? <laughs> I looked at my friend and said, I spent night and day thinking the best possible thoughts I can think. I spent hours selecting the very best thing to put on paper, and all you can come up with is you can give me a penny for your thoughts? My friend now looked at me with a hurt look on his face. Phoebe, when I said I would give you a penny for your thoughts, I was referring to my daughter. I looked totally surprised and said, you mean your youngest daughter whose name is Penny? He smiled. I don't mean literally. I would just cover, give her your book to look at. This might give her a better opinion of herself. All she keeps telling me is how worthless she feels. She said she feels like she is worth less and less each day. I said, that's because you named her Penny. You should have named her Nicole. Then she'd be worth five times as much. 
My friend began to confide in me. He said, Phoebe, I have the same dream every night. Every night I fall off the same mountain. I keep falling off this mountain. I said, Cliff, get a hold of yourself. It's your name you keep falling off. So just keep singing to yourself, ain't no mountain high enough. Well, Cliff got weepy on me and he blurted out, I'm having a problem with my wife. She clings to me. All she ever does is cling to me all day long. I said, that's why her name is Ivy. That's what she's supposed to do. <laughs> Cliff said, my son, we love him very much, but he's always moving. Every time I turn around, he's always on the go. I said, it's Van's nature to do that. Let Van travel. He needs to be on the open road. Cliff actually cried and said, my oldest daughter, Pearl, she's so mixed up. She wants to change her name, but she can't come up with a gem she likes. She tried ruby, sapphire, even topaz, and some other pretty stones uh, to boot, but she never liked any of them. I said, why doesn't she just call herself Jewel and be done with it? Oh, boy. Cliff said my brother is coming over to barbecue tonight. He used to be crazy about hamburgers, but since the pink slime scare, he won't go near a burger again. I said, are you talking about Chuck? Cliff said, yeah, that's him and his wife, the flower child. I said, you mean Daisy? He said, no. She used to call herself Lily, but now she's changed her name to Rose. <laughs> I said, are you still having problems with their, are they still having problems with their daughter who they named after a flower? He said, yes, the poor girl tells everyone that she's a battered kid. And all her parents did was name her after a flower. I said, yeah, but do they have to pick one named Black-Eyed Susan? I rest my processor on that one. Here in conclusion of this thoughtful thinking tidbit of tricky terminology, the thought in question is, am I really Phoebe the thoughtful thinker? Or do I just think I am? I will let you, my trusted tribe of thinkers, put your thoughts together in your think tank and tell me in this tub of tidbits of the, is it delightful enough for you to think friendly about me? I hope so. And for those of you who are looking for the truth in this piece, I refer you to the title, Hey, and then judge for yourself. That's why I'm Phoebe Bob Kinney, the thoughtful thinker. Thank you for listening. I got more for you to come in the future. I hope you, uh, you enjoyed it.